What up, Internet? Kurt here, geeking out on the 1920s in honor of The Great Gatsby coming out, which I'm pumped to see. But anyway, we'll get to that movie. First, let's talk about the decade, a time when real celebrities were born. Big names back then were people like Charlie Chaplin, Albert Einstein, Babe Ruth, who I can only see as John Goodman. Well, no, kiddo. I'm Babe Ruth. Gloria Swanson and Zelda Sayer, wife of F. Scott, who was also known as the first American flapper. But I'm going to go ahead and call her the Kim Kardashian of the 1920s. Now, I know later she wrote a book and stuff, but in the 20s, she was basically famous for being famous. The flapper style is still in today, as a lot of ladies still rock the outfits, the hair, and the hair accessories. That weird thing where you do the chain across the... Yeah, I don't know what those are called. What was cool about the 1920s for dudes was that you're pretty much required to wear a hat. That'd be awesome. Unfortunately, today, the only way you can wear a hat is if you're JT, or Johnny Depp, or Brad Pitt. I guess you just gotta be famous. Anybody can wear the hairstyle, though, and a lot of people do. A style which I call the Mumford. For as long ago as it was, it's crazy to think what was introduced in the 20s and is still going strong today. Like uh, Mickey Mouse. Hey, everybody! Who first appeared in Steamboat Willie in 1928. Oh, and the birth of Queen Elizabeth and Betty White. That was in the 20s, and they're still around today. One of the big differences between celebrities in the 20s and celebrities today is how much you can get away with. Back then, anything goes. Didn't matter. Had an affair you don't want people knowing about? Pay off a journalist. That's it. But today, it's all cell phones and TMZ ruining it for everybody. Imagine having nude pic scandals. <laughs> back then. Today does have one edge on the 1920s. Booze is legal. Woohoo! I'm sure it sucked forever was living back then, but for us, it's been awesome. Just think of all the awesome movies and TV shows we've had about gangsters bootlegging. Like uh, Boardwalk Empire. But the movie output is miles long. And speaking of movies, we got the new Great Gatsby coming out with Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm looking forward to it. Other than the made-for-TV version in 2000 with Paul Rudd, the last time they tried this movie was in the 70s with Robert Redford. <laughs> and one amazing bathing suit. <laughs> Things hilarious. And you know this movie's gonna be fun to watch, even if it is just so so. The soundtrack's gonna be awesome because it was produced by Jay Z. I love that song they use in the trailer. I will tell you God's truth about myself. And I guess like the lead single is this new song from Lana Del Rey. It's alright. I wouldn't like it as a standalone single, but I can imagine liking it a lot more after I see it in the movie. Will you still love me when I'm no longer young? So yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna go get myself a Mumford and buy tickets to Great Gatsby. But in the meantime, stick around for more episodes. Thanks for stopping by.